Hi, in this video, we'll be discussing the problem find element which occurs one where all the other elements present in the array are occurring three times. So, basically, in this particular problem, you will be given an array, and in that array, there will be a particular element which will be occurring only one time, and other than that, all the elements who, which are present they will be occurring three times each okay for example let's see this array so suppose if you have an array which is like 7 uh, then 3 then let's say 3 and then 3 and then 7 and then 7 and then 1 so you can see that the element 1 this is uh, this element 1 is occurring only one time and all the other element that is the other elements are what 7 and 3 7 is occurring three times 3 is occurring three times so the single element is what single element is 1 you have to find the single element now, how can you find the single element? So, for finding the single element, one of the very basic ways is that we can use a hash map, right? We can basically do what? We can basically, in this problem, we can basically use a hash map and we can count the frequency of each element and whichever element is occurring only one time, we can print that. But using a hash map is a very basic approach and it is a brute force approach. So, we have to think of something better. Instead of this, we can think in terms of bit. Okay, if we think in terms of bit manipulation, then this problem will become a little bit easier for us to solve in lesser space complexity. Okay, so basically suppose that we have one array and the array looks like what? Let's say we have got something like two. Okay, so I'm writing all these elements, but it is not necessary that it will be given in sorted order, but I'm just writing this. So let's say we have two, three. Okay, then we have got, let's say four also. Then we have got five. Then we have got, uh, let's say, uh, let's say we have got three only one time. Okay. So let's say what we have got here is we have got three only one time. Okay. And then what we have got is we have got four here. Okay. Then we have got four here. Then we have got four here. Okay. Then what we have is we have got five. Then we have got five. Then we have got five. Then we have got 6, 6 and 6, okay. And let's say we have got 7 also. So we have got all these elements here, right. So if we have got uh, these elements, then obviously you can understand the single element is 3. Uh, I'm saying that I have written all these elements uh, in ascending order so that we can understand that 2 is repeating 3 times, 4 is repeating 3 times, 5 is repeating 3 times, 6 is repeating 3 times, 7 is repeating 3 times. It is not necessary that the array should be given as sorted. Okay, like it can be given in any order, but all the other elements except the single element should appear three times. Now, what you can observe is if you will take the ZOR of this array. Okay, suppose that what we do here is if we start taking the ZOR of this array, then what is going to happen here? So if you will take the ZOR of this whole array, then what will the ZOR come out to be? Uh, suppose if you don't take the ZOR, if you will think in terms of bit only, right? So what is going to happen here? If you will see, so 2 is there. So 2 is represented like what? 2 is represented as 0, 1, 0. Okay. Then if you will see 3, so 3 is represented as what? 1, uh, like 0, 1, 1. Okay. Then if you will see, let's say 4. So 4 is represented as what? Uh, it is represented as 1, 0, 0. Then 5 is represented as what? It is represented as 1, 0, 1. Then 6 is represented as uh, 1, 1 and then 0. Okay, then 7 is represented as what in terms of bit? It is represented as triple 1. Now, how can we solve this particular problem? Okay, so if you will see here, right, so 2 is like 0, 1, 0, then 3 is 0, 1, 1, 4 is 1, 0, 0, 5 is 1, 0, 1, 6 is 1, 1, 0 and 7 is 1, 1, 1. Now, suppose that if you will see 7, okay, so for 7, if you will see the 0th bit, because uh, if you have bit manipulation, right, so we talk about 2 to the power 0, okay, then 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, right, so this is the 0th bit, then 1th bit, from the right side we say 0th bit, 1th bit, 2th bit, so if you will see the 0th bit, bit for 7, so for 7, if the 0th bit is set, so if you will see for 7, the 0th bit is set, is it 1 or not? For 7, the 0th bit is 1. If it is 1, so it will contribute 1 3 times. Okay, if the 0th bit is 1 in 7, then the, then for the 0th position, it will contribute this bit 1 3 times. Because it is uh, because 7 is present 3 times in the array. So, it will contribute 3 times. It will contribute this, this bit 1 3 times. Okay, so the count uh, of set bits at this position uh, will be contribu uh, contribution by 7 will be 3. Okay, in terms of 3. So, let's quickly try and see uh, what we can do here. 
so if you will see let me write all the numbers uh, like representations here so suppose 2 is there so 2 is 1 0 0 uh, let me just erase this from here and then we'll write it again so let's say 2 is what 2 is like 1 0 0 then uh, 1 0 0 again then it is 1 0 0 again then 3 is what it is 0 1 1 3 is basically 0 1 1 then the next 3 is also 0 1 1 then you have 1 0 0 4 is like 1 1 0 0 then 5 is 1 0 1 then 6 is what 6 is basically 1 1 uh, just a second let me write this again so I need to write the repeating numbers again okay so 3 was 0 uh, 0 1 1 then 4 is uh, what 1 0 0 so let me write 1 0 0 multiple times 3 times okay then 5 is occurring how many times 5 is occurring three times so one zero one then one zero one then uh six is also occurring three times one zero one uh one one sorry one one zero one one zero one one zero and then seven is occurring three times so one 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 then you will have one 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 and one 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 now uh let me reduce the size okay so if you will see this here right so yeah if you will see this here so what you can observe is for the zeroth position which bits are set okay so let's change the color here and let's have a look so for the if you will see at the zeroth position so at the zeroth position you have uh, zero does not have a set bit okay because zero is not contributing a set bit then three like if you will see so three is having a set bit so three is contributing how many times one time only okay because when i will iterate through the through all the occurrences so three is present only one time so three will contribute only uh, in the counter three will contribute only one then 4 is not having that bit as set, so 4 will not contribute. Then 5 is having that bit as set, so 5 will contribute how many times? 5 will contribute 3 times. Okay, so 5 will contribute to uh, for, the, for the position 0, 5 will contribute 3 set bits. Okay, so the counter will increase by 3. Okay, then after that 6 will not contribute because 6 is having that set bit as 0. Then 7 is uh, having that set bit as uh, 1, so 7 will also contribute 3 times. So you can see that the count becomes how much? The count becomes 7. If the count becomes 7, so it is not a multiple of 3. If the count is not a multiple of 3, so this means that count modulus 3 is equal to 1. Because if the count uh, for, for the 0th position, if the count of set bits at the 0th position would have been a multiple of 3, this would have meant that all the single numbers are only contributing the set bits. But if the count is not divisible by 3, if the count mod 3 is not equal to 0, if it is equal to 1, so it indicates that the single number is also contributing uh, the set bit. So if the single number is contributing, so since the position i is 0, so uh, since the position is 0, okay, so for this position, we have to make the bit as set in the answer. So we'll say that answer plus is equal to uh, 1 left shift i. When you look, 1 left shift i is basically what? 1 left shift i is nothing but it is doing like, it is same as 2 to the power uh, i. So 2 to the power 0 will be what? 1. So the answer will get updated with 1. Because uh, this position uh, bit will contribute 1 actually. You know? Okay. Then after that, we will check for the next position i is equal to 1. For the next position, you can see that uh, 3 is having a set bit. So the count will become what? The count will become 1. Then after that, uh, you will see 6 is also having a set bit. So 6 will contribute 3 times. So the counter will become 3. Then uh, six will contra 7 will also contribute a set bit. So the counter will become 3 again. So it will become total 7. Okay. Then uh, what will happen is, the, so the, uh, you can see that the count is basically 7 here for the position i is equal to 1. So we are having 7 set bits. If we are having 7 set bits, so if a single number would have contributed a set bit, so it would have contributed 3 set bits. But, uh, and the, if all the, if only the, if, if the uh, number which is occurring 3 times, if that would have contributed, so it would have contributed 3 times. But since the, uh, since the single number is also contributing, so that is why the counter is not a multiple of 3. If only the numbers which were occurring three times, if they would have contributed, then the count would have been a multiple of three. But since the count is not a multiple of three, so this indicates that uh, there is a single number that is also contributing a set bit. So since the single number is contributing a set bit at this position, so I need to again do one left shift i. That is, I need to add two to the power right. So two to the power one will be added in your answer. So two to the power one is basically how much? One plus uh, this will be 1 plus 2 now. So this will be 3. So answer till now becomes 3. Now after that for the next position we will see the counter. So let me erase a bit of things and then we'll check. Okay. So now for this position if you will see how many set bits are there. So basically you can see that uh, 2 is having a set bit. So the count becomes 3. 
then uh, because when I will iterate through the, all the twos, so twos will show that they have a set bit. Then uh, then after that four is also having set bit, so three set bits contributed by four. Then six is also having set bit at the position two. The then five is also having set bit and seven is also having set bit. So total count is basically fifteen. You can see fifteen set bits are there, and fifteen is what fifteen is divisible by three. This means that all the set bits are contributed by the triple numbers, uh, like three time occurring numbers and if the count is a multiple of three this indicate that single uh, number is not contributing a set bit here so we can say that the single number will not have a set bit here and we will not update the answer with two to the power i so you can see here that the answer like after this when we'll check for other positions so for other positions uh, all the bits will be zero and no nothing will be updated and you can see at the end of the day the answer will be three which indicates the single number okay uh, so this is how we need to do this question. So we have to iterate for every position. So we can say that uh, what we need to do is we need to iterate. So we need to say that I should start from zero. I is less than 32 because the position will be from uh, zero till 31. And then what we will do is we will simply say that uh, for our J will start from zero. Then J will be lesser than N. Then we will do what? We will do a J plus plus. And after that, uh, what we will check is in order to check if a bit is set or not, we can use the right shift operation. So we can say that if a of j right shift i and with one, uh, because we want to check uh, whether if if it if the sand gives a one. Okay, if the if the if if in this number, if in the in the array element, if the i bit is set, so this is the syntax for checking, uh, or this is the way we write in order to check using right shift that whether a ith bit is set or not. Okay, if it is set then what we will do is we'll have a counter here zero and we will update our counter. Okay, that a number is having a set bit at this position. And after iterating through the whole array for that particular ith position, we'll check that if the count uh, mod three, if it's equal equal to one, then we will do what? We'll say that answer plus is equal to one left shift i. You can also write two to the power i if you want. Okay, so we'll update the answer with two to the power i. Okay, because if that set, if the ith bit is set in the uh, in the single number then the count will not be divisible by three and at the end of the day we can simply return the answer here so you can see the complexity would be 32 into n that is kind of linear only and we are not taking any extra space here so let's try and quickly code this problem up and see how we can solve it so what i will do here is uh firstly i can say that i need a counter a variable initially let's say initialize to zero then we'll have an answer initially initialized to zero okay then after this what i'm going to do is after this part, uh, I'll iterate. So for int, i starts from 0. Uh, okay. And then we'll do i is less than 32. Uh, because the bits will be from 0 till 31 position. Okay. Then we will iterate for all the elements for that particular ith bit. So j starts from 0. j is lesser than capital N. Then we'll do a j++. And then after this, what we will do is, if the uh, a of j, uh, if the arr of uh, j, right shift with i doing an and with one okay if this value is given as and with one okay if this value gives us one then this means that the bit is set so in that case we will do a count plus plus but before this uh, for every position initially i need to mark the count as zero okay then i will do a count plus plus and if the count is uh, if the count uh, mod 3 if it's equal equal to 1 so this means it is not completely divisible uh, like this means that the count is not completely divisible by 3 so this means that uh, that uh, not only the triple numbers must be contributing the set single set bits uh, for the position but the single number is also contributing uh, and it must be contributing one set bit not 3 for that position so that's why the counter is not divisible by 3 and the counter uh, count of set bits at that position is uh, not divisible i3 if that is the case then we'll do answer plus is equal to one left shift i or you can say we are updating the answer with two to the power i because if that bit is set then in the answer it should get added with two to the power i okay then at the end of the day we'll just return the answer and now you can see when i'll compile this code so it should work fine here It is working fine. Let's try and submit this code also and see if it is getting accepted or not. Okay, so yes, you can see that our code is getting accepted and the time complexity will be uh, 32 into n that is linear in nature and the space complexity will be constant. So you have solved this problem without using any hash map. So if you are clear with this question, you can write understood in the chat and thank you for watching this video. If In case if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments and thank you.